I think you should be able to just not have your phone, not have anything going, and be able to sit in a room for like 20 minutes and do nothing. That sounds fucking boring. Yeah, it is. Dylan, but you have to be able to do that. Holy shit, that's DJ Khaled golfing. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. Something that a lot of people don't do anymore because they're too busy on YouTube shorts and TikTok. I know. <laughs> We are Welcome, here. ladies and gentlemen, to the show. I'm your host, Dr. Suck. <laughs> I'm your host, Dr. Suck. With me is the goofiest goober, Black Lilith. And we have a special guest that I've censored so you don't see him right away. <laughs> He's giving the uh, Kubrick stare. It is the one, the only, my brother. Hello. <laughs> Do you want me to call, your, call you by your name? Yeah, Doxman. Address, social security number, all works. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'm here with my brother Richard. We're gonna go ahead and uh, just <laughs> hang out, watch some TikToks, and uh, have a good old goofing time. Uh, Hell yeah. <laughs> and uh, with that, let's someone's got to fill the void. So there, there's a there's a, a demand of TikTok reactions and nobody's really cornering the market yet. Not like there isn't millions of videos of people doing that. So we got to be the original No one has ones ever and, started a podcast and has a and, segment and where they react to TikTok. No. Dude, it's a very original idea. I don't know about no. you. But no, Jay Schlatt doesn't have like out. 13 hours of TikTok reactions and <laughs> no one you know. no one listens to the J Slack. What were you gonna say? He had a work story. What was your work story? Oh, yeah. My goodness. Yeah, so, so you were you were telling me about your work story. Yeah. About a guy who's weird. Wait till you hear about this. You were having problems with a guy who's weird. Alright, so uh I just moved apartments and one of my, my first apartment ended. The lease ended uh something thirty first. The new apartment we signed starts started the 11th, so like two weeks after our old one ended. So I had to move back down in with my parents for our parents for two weeks. While I was gone, uh, one guy started at where I work at a big O tire, so a mechanic shop. So one guy had started only there for like a week or so before I uh, left. And then the other guy started while I was gone. So I don't know these guys. I don't know what they can do. I don't know what they know. And there's a bunch of stuff like cars like at 90,000 miles are supposed to have so much work done. And Subaru's is, case is the example that I'll be using because that's a car that was but every 90,000 miles you're supposed to do spark plugs and plug wires and fuel filter and differential flush and transmission flush. The whole list of maintenance stuff you're supposed to do just per mile. Mechanic my... nerd over here. It's just stuff we're supposed to do and, and uh, you know, stuff that we're supposed to write up and recommend. Um, anyways, so I, I go to tell these guys, and, and, like, we also have, like, liability of, like, if people come in with really bad tires, we have to tell them, hey, we can't touch these tires because then you can say, oh, well, I was just here a week ago. Your tire blows out on the side of the highway. Well, I was just here a week ago. They must have done something, messed something up. That's yeah. fucking stupid. It happens. What a though. dumb claim. It happens though because people do, people just don't notice stuff like that, you know. And it's not like it's their fault. People just things like that. Some people just don't notice. So there's this car out back, and they're doing a tire rotation on it, and the two new guys. And I go back there, and they both like the two front tires were horrible. They were really bald, and really bad. And it's a Subaru, so it's all wheel drive. So all four tires have to be like the same tread. So you don't fuck mm -hmm. the car up. Um, and uh, so I'm, I'm going over there and I'm start to grab the ticket to write that it needs tires and a 90,000 service, uh, 90,000 mile service. And one of the guys is working on a tire. He's putting it on and he's like, don't worry about it, man. I got it. Because I started grabbing the ticket. And I was like, okay, all right, you got it. I want to see what you got. So let's go. What do you so, got? <laughs> so, so then I, I walk away and I come back a couple minutes later and I look at the ticket and there's still nothing written on it. He's like, hey man, I said don't worry, I got it. And I was like, if you got it, what are you writing down? He's like, what are you going to write down? I just said that. I was like, what are you going to write down? He's like, don't no, worry. I mean, none of your business. And he was like, no, man, I got it. Don't worry. And I was like, okay. Um, so then I started writing down what it needed because we're supposed to 
be able to call the customer, talk to them while we're still working on the car, and say, hey, this is what we noticed. Okay. This is what's going on. Right. We'll be done in a couple minutes. Right? Um, but he didn't like that. So he was like, all right, fuck you. If you want to do it, you can do the whole thing. And so he quit doing the rotate. He quit messing with it. And just left it alone. Well, because just because I was writing on it, writing the ticket. And then the other, he got the other guy to also walk out with him. And so, and the whole time when I say I'm going to grab the ticket, the ticket's up on the dashboard of the car. Mm-hmm. So it's, it hasn't been in their hand. And then the one, the second time I went up, um, and I was like, I was just asking him like what he had on it. He had it in his hand, but he wasn't writing anything. He was just like signing off on it that it, been, that it was about to be done or he was just holding it. And then he handed it to me. Right. So then, uh, I take it, I start writing down what it needs and everything and they get pissed and they go kind of sit off you know away and yeah. kind of on this like slab of concrete that we have in the back uh Time for my 15 and uh, wants to take over it and is. and so so i give the ticket to them up front to tell them what it needs and everything and then i finish up the car because those clowns weren't going to and then um and then as i'm working on it they're saying i just hear him say man i don't care man I'll, I'll go fight him. I'll go beat the shit out of him. I'll knock them out. The fuck. <laughs> no. Um. So yeah, and I, and I was I was laughing. Uh, I was like, because yeah. this guy, I mean, he's a pretty big individual. Uh he's pretty hefty. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, and I just hear him. How old? Dude, he's like forty-five. <laughs> he's like a, he's probably he could have a kid, dude. And he's mad at me. You know, oh and gosh. and here's what a lot of people have said. Of, He's forty. Of, you just leave him alone. Of why <laughs> he didn't like me, or why you know that all started, is because I am a 19 year old who's his boss, and I make more money at him than him in an entry level job. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know. So Damn. it's like not a reason to fight someone, but I mean. Yeah, you'd be, you'd, but, you could be upset, I guess. But yeah, so so they're both going back and forth in the garage of talking about how they want to fight me, and and they're like, man, there's a there's an alley out back with no cameras. The alley has cameras. They're just so they're, <laughs> there's there's so like they're old and dumb. Th- there's like three cameras back there. They usually oh, go hand in hand. God. Yeah. Um. So yeah, and then uh, I, I mean, I was just pretty much ignoring them the whole time and our manager like heard this happening and didn't say anything Mm -hmm. he just ignored it and i was like okay okay um so then the next day was fine but then the day after that i was like okay they don't want my help i can't help them so i'll stay out of their way so i was just pulling cars into the back jack and one doing small stuff tire rotations flat repair stuff i could do by myself and just kind of get it out of the way while they did the use the bay you know so i was out back in the fuck in the sun and uh and, and then i heard him say uh as i was walking away of course um oh we're the we're the four new guys he's the he's the fix a flat guy and i was i mean i didn't care but you know he and and I, that was just like the the very tip that i uh, tip of the iceberg that i heard but i guess they were going for a while that are our C tech had to talk to him and was like getting annoyed with how much they were saying. One of our other guys was also had to tell them to chill out a bit. So they were they were saying a bunch. They're sh- sh- talking a lot of shit. They were a shit talking shit. while I wasn't in the area, while I wasn't even there, you know. Yeah. But and then uh, and then our main tech like snapped at him and was like, "All right, you fuckers are done talking shit about him because he's just trying to do his job and show you guys how it's done and show you guys what to do." You know, and then, uh, and then they kept going (laughs) they kept, they kept talking shit. Um, and then, uh, I think the next day one of them was gone, but the other guy, uh, he, he took a ticket off of the hooks that we have. And then I was finishing up the car. He took a ticket off the hooks. He walked away like he was going to go pull it in or pull it around back. And then he just set it down and walked across to the gas station, started getting drinks and stuff, and then and started talking with one of our other guys, and I finished, and I was like, I finished what I was doing, and then there was nothing to do, and I was like, I could have swore there was another ticket, like we had something else after this. Mm-hmm. So I started looking around, I, I'm just, I was just cleaning, and then I seen it over on like this bench, where we're not supposed to have tickets, you know, 
And I was like, huh, okay. So I pulled it in and I start doing it. And then as I'm finishing up with that one, he finally comes back right as our manager is hanging up another ticket. And he grabs that one. And I go, hey, man, if you're going to grab a ticket, actually do it. Don't just put it somewhere. So, oh, But this is like one yeah. shot that I just fired off as a little like, hey, fuck this you, is, come this on. This is yeah. after you've but, heard but, everyone but, about them? Yes. Oh, okay. But before, this is a different day. Yeah. And, and that happened. But before that happened, uh, we have like a little like, um, so like here's like our alleyway behind the building. And then this is where we throw away the dead tires. This is where our bay is that we work. So, and this is like a, there's a raised concrete wall right here and there's nothing over here, right? So we'll just throw tires as we're working. We'll just throw tires right here. And then when we're slow, uh, oh, and then when we're slow, we'll, we'll move them all to like the actual spot that they're supposed to be. But I start throwing them to like this little spot and, and he's like, Hey man, that's not where the tires go. Tires, tires go all the way down there. All right, whatever. And he, he said something else. Um, but I don't remember, but it was something like that, you know, of just yeah, kind of like, yeah. Being an and then I did the same thing and then he got all up in my face and was like, I, I forget what he was saying, but he was like, I'll, I'll knock you out. I don't care, man. And but whatever. And then, uh, and then he, he had that ticket. He starts walking away to pull it around and he's, and he's still saying something. I just go, yep. Keep talking while you're walking away, dude. And then he comes back and he gets in my face again and I'm just like laughing at him because he's like, because I'm just looking at this 45-year-old man <laughs> who only wants to get high all the time. Like, that's how everybody, that's how one of our other guys who is, like, kind of decent friends with him knows. And he was like, yeah, he was telling me earlier today. He was like, yeah, he just he's just a 45-year-old man. He's just a grown-ass man who wants to get high all the time and doesn't want to do anything. And, uh... Me too. <laughs> yeah, and I was, like, just looking at him. I was just laughing. And, uh... But, yeah, that's my story. That's, uh... They're, they're, how close was it? Was he like how close you and I are? Probably, yeah. Yeah, just but, all... but yeah, and he, and he was and, and I was like, dude, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do shit at work. And then the last couple of days, um, he he like quit slash got fired, uh, <laughs> and uh, and he was there. You can't fire and, me. And I quit. And he was telling somebody, <laughs> um, he was telling somebody that before he left that day. Mm -hmm. He was going to hit me. He was going to fight me. And he was going to knock me out. He was saying all this stuff. Yeah. I didn't hear any of it. I just seen him walking by, and, you know, and doing whatnot. So then, so then eventually he leaves. And they were telling me that. And they were like, you know, yeah, he, this is what he was saying. I was just like, here I am. He knows my location. He knows where I'm at. He's got me on Snap Maps. He, he's, he knows my location. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Come fight. You wanna you wanna say all that? You just say oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna. You got so, my location. You know where I'm so at. So how lo how long ago was this incident? A couple weeks. A couple weeks ago. Was so, it sometime after that that you were like, all right, I'm gonna start learning taekwondo or no this boxing or whatever. Dude, I started I started doing MMA months ago. Like okay, like okay. May. It would have, okay. <laughs> no, if no, it no. lined up to where that happened, and then you're like, oh, actually, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna start no. learning how to fight. <laughs> oh shit. There was a dude at my work that I was telling you about earlier that uh, after I reported him, uh, this is like within the same week, it was last week, so within the same week that I report him, we have a day where no team leads, which are like semi-managers, mm -hmm. are like there in the I show up in the morning that no one's, no one's managing the front, no one's there. I'm supposed nice. to be on a check lane, um, but I get there, and everyone's telling me, oh, yeah, uh, so-and-so, the guy, so-and-so uh, wants you to go and do drive-ups. I'm like, why do I give a, why do I give a fuck what so-and-so has to say? I'm like, all right, whatever. I go do drive-ups. I'm going to find out he's, t like, temp-elected uh, uh, team lead uh -huh. for that morning. And I was like, I'm going to leave. I'm gonna fucking leave. <laughs> fuck this. Dude, are you serious? The guy I reported is now telling me what the fucking do? Like, nah, I wasn't having it. I worked till lunch and then I left. <laughs> I was not gonna deal with that. That was some horseshit. I can't, they, like, they have, this, the, where I, where I work now, I don't work there anymore, but that place just is so mismanaged. So mismanaged. Are you work so yeah, no. So mismanaged. 
uh, so unorganized. They don't have enough people because every it's like a mass amount of people leave and then um, then they hire on just like a few more people and then those people get shit training and then we just have a whole circus uh, of a store going on because there's so many people trying to be trained because they're new but they're not getting properly trained because no one has fucking time to train anyone so they get half-ass trained half-ass work gets spread about and people and then at the same while that's happening just everyone in different departments are getting pulled to different departments to help out so like people in fulfillment people stock are now on a check lane are now doing drive ups or even what what what, what was uh, really cool that target is doing now is they've integrated starbucks into drive ups so some you know you you go into a grocery store and there's starbucks that's usually a thing mm-hmm. but with Target and their drive-ups, what you can do now is you can place your order, and then <laughs> on your way, you could be like, oh yeah, and I want a little, you know, a large macchiato or whatever the fuck, you know, I just want a large coffee. And so now, we don't have any fucking one over in Starbucks making coffee. We have uh, higher, higher-ups who are coming to work at, don't know, who aren't baristas and don't know how to fucking make the coffee. So now... As we pr- we have orders prepped to take out to the parking lot, we can't go yet because Starbucks is ten minutes late on a coffee, and we have th- we have to have that coffee to complete the order on our devices to then bring it to the customer. That's fun. It is fucking hell, and I don't want to think about it anymore. I want to transition into TikToks now. <laughs> it's TikTok time. Fuck retail. Okay, sorry. All right, babe, was there anything you wanted specifically that you wanted to play right away? That one. Why are you so angry? Oh, I don't, just because they were, I don't know. All the news is ripped off. Well, yeah, I'm so like, yeah. Um, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> this is a TikTok live I can definitely see myself doing. He does go live all the fucking time. Just doing outrageous shit like that. I fucking... He's like, oh, look at this stuffed animal. It's gonna sound so soft in the microphone. Actually, here's a fucking plate. And he just rubs it on top of the microphone. I, I could make a whole compilation of just the wildest fucking TikTok lives. Do you do TikTok still anymore no i do not have tiktok you're fucking missing out bro you gotta jump back on no i'm not it's <laughs> fucking awesome i know i'm not i don't have tiktok i don't have twitter or twitter whichever one it wants to be now it's twitter um <laughs> i don't have what i i pretty much only use oh my god hold on i got something to say okay oh, okay i hate so with a burning wow passion. like like it's bad. I what? fucking hate social media because, and and it really scared me recently because I so I had this friend in like high school, a high school. It, so yeah, so we started we started well like we didn't go to the high school but we started playing video games online and shit in high school. Okay. And they're from the Springs, so we'd hang out every once in a while. But uh, so like years ago we hung out. And they were fine. Seemed like a normal, I don't know, human being. And then, um, you know, like, talking to me, uh, like, not like, you know, like a normal person when you kind of hang out. Right? And then we just hung out a couple of days ago. And it's like, they're just constantly on their phone. And switch, and not even just like TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. It's like, okay... They'll go, they'll swipe past three, Multiple like apps. three, like four TikToks and then find one that like immediately grabs their attention. Like, like just going through and it's like people talking it's like, Hey, here's how you can do this here. Hey, this is this. Or it's just like funny videos, but it's just like, I need to build up, skip right past them until she sees a monkey in a top hat on the screen. And then it's like, okay, this is the one I'm going to watch <laughs> and then skip past three of three or four more. And then it's like, okay. I got my fix, switch to Discord and start talking to other people and then switch to YouTube Shorts and then switch to Twitter. And it's just like 
constantly going through and it's like you can't even like stay focused for like you can't even like one commit to one app and just go through that two you can't even when you do when you are on just one app you're just like skipping through skipping through skipping through, skipping through. oh okay skip through skip. and it's like oh my god and it's just and it's like it's such a i just hated seeing that of like how short but also, if you've, you've been out hanging out. You, you've been hanging out. Maybe like focusing on you, you know, because you're hanging out with someone. I think it's kind that, of that, that is on you. But I know yeah, that's I know. not how you. Yeah, but I. But it's just like like okay, that I don't care about. You know, it's like whatever. If that's what you do when you hang out, okay. Well, we're probably not gonna hang out. You know, yeah. but it's like that's just I mean, one such thing. A... You two were both sitting on the couch, being like, well, "Look at this video," or not "Look at this video." Yeah. What do you look at this video? Yeah, but it's one like... thing. What if it's like you're in your chair, you're just like. So, want to go get something to eat? And they're just like, yeah. Yeah, and it's just like, I, I just hated that, seeing that of the social media. And it's just like how short your attention span is from that. And just constantly, like, needing more of, like, to find the, the right thing. Not even willing to sit for a couple minutes of buildup or a couple seconds of buildup. It's like, I don't know. I think you should be able to just not have your phone not have anything going and be able to sit in a room for like 20 minutes and do nothing that sounds fucking boring yeah it is Dylan. but you have to be able to do that and you have to have time where you're not constantly doing something where you can just think about stuff and you just think hmm this is kind of a messed up situation i'm in and just thinking through it and and brainstorming shit you know and just thinking you know instead of just Okay, I'm on YouTube. I'm on YouTube. I'm on YouTube. Okay, now I'm gonna listen to music to because I gotta go somewhere. I'm just gonna listen to music the I whole time. I hate motherfuckers just, who go from YouTube to music. Just blocking out any chance of a original thought, any chance of a of a thought that you can it's, have. It sounds more like you just don't like this one person. No, and... it is everybody. I see so many people do. Dude, Dude, I have stopped like for for my drive to work, which is like a 15 minute drive. I don't listen to music anymore. At work, I don't listen to music anymore. Why? At home, I barely... Li I don't listen to music at home. I really only listen to music when I'm driving, like, an hour or two. When I'm driving, like, for long drives. Yeah. Through town and stuff. That's when I'll listen to music. Maybe. Sometimes. Why? Why? Because... What's wrong with music? A lot. Dude, you are so pent up right now. You're like There's, a 40-year-old like oh. man it, who tried no, to fight you. It's, it's mainly the social Except media. it's you the and music, people who basically <laughs> like social media. The music isn't that bad. But it's it's mainly social media, and I see it happening. And I see what, what really pisses me off with social media is I see people change their opinions and change their personalities for social media. For, oh, that person's... I like that person. I follow them, and, and they said something that I don't completely agree with something that i think a little differently about but i'm gonna change what i think because that's what they're saying or it's like that's just i hate that shit that shit crushes my spirit crushes your soul you know i don't because i'm that person you're talking about yeah and <laughs> you just sound like a lame old man <laughs> i don't know what to tell you dylan <laughs> some real hater shit <laughs> Dude, it's I like, like it's, give a fuck how someone's on social media. I mean, I if know. that's what you want to do, I, I don't mean, care. I would care. Like I said, I would care if we were hanging out and they were just on their fucking phone. Yeah, that's why I'm like to, that like, one hang guy you hang up, hung out with. But didn't that sound fun? It sounded lame. Well, okay, but like I just see that with so many people, and I just like do you? And or just, is it just a few? How many fucking people use TikTok, and how many people use that? App Almost on everyone a, on a constant basis. Exactly, it's a it's a horrible addiction that people have. Don't tell me it's not an addiction. The first thing you do when you wake you up, can, you can, you can. The first thing you do when you get off work, the first thing you do when you get out of your car and uh, all right, stop, you stop, know, stop throwing your phone. You're, it, it, it's it, it, hit the money. It's the first thing that everybody does when they wake up when they when they yeah. go do. It, that's an addiction. If if somebody woke up every day and the first thing they did was take a drink of alcohol, 
the second thing they did was get out of bed. Oh my god! <laughs> and the, and the first, you, can you, can you, you would be a fucking nineteen year old. You and would watch call TikTok. them an alcoholic. No, I am. I'd, ra- I'd rather you be scrolling through right now. I've taken control your of my mind. Based, you're taking control <laughs> of your mind. I mean, how much Gary V have you been consuming? The fuck I don't are even you know on? who that is? See, that's how many original. He's a, he's a, he's a fucking loser NFT grifter, right wing grifter who just goes on about how kids these days, kids these days. I hate anyone who talks about kids these days. Like, what the fuck? You, you don't you barely talk to your kids. Fuck you mean, kids these days. And that's nah. all he complains about. Kids these days are just on their TikToks all day. They're just on their TikToks. But it's true. It's, who gives a fuck? You can it's be like, on TikTok. TikTok's cool. TikTok's fun. TikTok's fucking awesome. Are you sponsored? Holy shit. Is, is she, I have not gone that hard on TikTok. Like, are you sponsored? It's like, I'm not sponsored. You just have such a gripe with okay, but, people. But, okay, but replace... I don't know. Re- if you replace TikTok... With any other thing that you consider to be a, an addiction, alcohol, I would gambling, much prefer someone on TikTok than drinking. No, but would you? Okay, let's say as often as you use TikTok, somebody spent that time instead lot. gambling. Would you call that an addiction? I don't give a fuck. So I don't care if someone gambles. Gambling's cool. Fifty-six percent of gamblers quit before, right before their big hand. Did you that know is that? a fucking fact. <laughs> Did you know that? Okay, <laughs> keep gambling. Are you, guys. Are, you, are, you, keep gambling. are you off your uh, anti TikTok, anti social media art? Can we actually watch uh, TikToks uh, now? <laughs> Can we just watch some TikTok? Because guess what, buddy? That's what we're fucking doing today. That's the podcast. He's not talking. Actually, we're just gonna watch videos. That's all. I'm There's a problem. We can do. There's the a problem of reckoning with um wanting to God watch videos. May not be so forgiving. Anyways, let's move forward. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fucking shit. I have a title for this one. My 40-year-old boomer brother joins us. All right. Did you have one that you wanted to play? Um, or should I just click random? Yeah, you can click random. Okay, because this guy's... <laughs> He's <laughs> looking at Why would you do this? <gasps> Why would you do this? I'm what a is it? He ate Why would you... Oh my god. <laughs> no. What a fucking guy. Huh? But, uh, oh yeah, Bristol Smith. Oh my god. She just god. got this box of paint and he fucking was like, mm, this Yummy. blue, coral blue 44, I'm gonna eat it. I'm waiting for our cats to have their first major fuck up. I'm trying to avoid that at all costs. That's you can try, like, but... You can delay the inevitable. The cats are kids... <sighs> Yeah, you can only... De- it's gonna happen. They're gonna eat your magnets. We're, they're gonna eat our magnets. They're gonna take one of these shelves down. I'm, I don't know. I still gotta... I wanna reconfigure this fucking ring light to, yeah. like, be bolted to the ground. Because I'm scared one of them's gonna be like, mm, actually, cat tree. They <laughs> no, they're gonna knock it over fucking wrestling. Do you see how well they get when they They get around? so great. They so. are all always trying to RKO everyone. Or each other. Mm-hmm. Just grabbing by... The- I've seen Chiba do it. Two Boba. They've been going to their Brazilian jiu-jitsu classes. They ha- really, on oh God, they have. <laughs> Cats are fucking awesome. I'm glad there's cat videos in here. My cat was feeling talkative tonight, so I let him call our dog in. He's very good at using his vowels. <laughs> Don't go. <laughs> Mitosis. Oh. That was sweet. The dog almost kind of looked like a dad sock, like a shiny. I was gonna say a shiny Taz, <laughs> like a shiny Pokemon. It's a different, different version. What kind of dog? What kind of dog is Dad's dog? Australian Shepherd. Australian Shepherds. Australian Shepherds. And they have like because there's like a... little boys. They're just cute or cute little dogs, not boys. Because there's like <laughs> blue collie, blue coll, blue collar. Blue, blue collar. It's white. like a no blue. Puppy. It's something like blue. I forget what the name of it is, but da it's like da da. but it's like a different version of an Australian Shepherd. Hmm. And then there's like Taz, and then there's that one as well. But the 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 blue one is like have like real gray and like blue fur skin. Um, Avatar. Uh, and yeah. No, Avatar but there, dog. There's, there's there's different kinds of dogs. 
Did you know? Wait, the, there's the, different well, of, that, of, of, of the Australian Shepherd. <laughs> oh no, yeah, I believe there's it. different kinds. There's like three different kinds. Did you know that most of those dogs are born without a tail because of how often their owners cut off their tails? That it's part of their that some of them are just born without a tail. Interesting. That's crazy. But can you tell me what? The <laughs> <movie goes through? laughs> Did not want that to be so loud. I, do you get this? I, no. <laughs> you really not? I mean, I get the sh just showing your abs when you get out, I guess. That's, that's <laughs> awesome. Does he, I but, 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 no. Does he know? <laughs> okay, I just got it. I, I just got it. it. Never mind. <laughs> I just got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had to think about it for a second. Something that a lot of people don't do anymore because they're too busy on YouTube shorts and TikTok. I know. And listening to music. And missing out on great content like <laughs> this. This is me, Evan, and Sean every night. Dylan, do you know about DJ Khaled? And by the way, Son gave me this tic-tac. I've never seen it in a small box like this. I think it's genius. What single? Have a tic-tac. Have a tic-tac. And by the way, my son gave me this bite it. Why does he chew on it? It's bit immediately. You could That's tear horrible. his teeth fucking I hate breaking. that. That's such a single-use tic-tac. Why tic -tac? would you bite it? You're not supposed to bite them. Is that really... Yeah. You can see in his face, he's like, fuck, why did I chew that? <laughs> is that a single-use container? It of, looks of, like, not nah, a Tic Tac. It helps. I want to say it has a couple, maybe like five. <laughs> five. You don't want me to wear a bow tie. Try to say you wear a bow tie. Might wear one every day. You know what? DJ Khaled did not continue to wear bow ties every day. I, I would assume those things look seem uncomfortable. <laughs> How many arms? Not enough. Let's go! He, Why is he so goaded? Why is he, he so goaded? He fucked up the guy behind him's line. <laughs> That's like not. You're not supposed to walk, so if you go to the second clip of that, he's like. He's grabbing that. Yeah, play from there. Okay, look where he's walking in front, right in front of the pin, and then that guy's getting ready to shoot. You're not supposed to walk right where somebody's gonna be hitting. Like that's basic golf etiquette. Oh no! I, I knew I made a mistake bringing a golfer on. This is an anti-golf. I know. I see people do that shit all the time, and it's like, okay, it's whatever. If you really care, but it's like, if you're gonna if you're gonna post something like that, man, that's not the video. That's not the clip. What about this? What if you golf with this guy? Oh my. <laughs> It oh I thought he was like just like golfing by himself and then there's just like people on the <laughs> like like just kind of waiting for him to go. He's just like by himself. <laughs> it's just like fans are like, dude, is that DJ Khaled golfing? Holy shit, that's DJ Khaled golfing! Hits by, playing by himself. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Still in a meeting. Still in a meeting. Still in a meeting. Have you seen the video? The um, like, uh, Fifty Cent was on this TV show where they like go and buy s sneakers, and uh, they're mm -hmm. like the guy, the guy, the like the the guy who works there is like, okay, you know, here's what we got. Here are the Jordan Fives, and you know, these are twenty years old, great shoes and authentic and whatever, you know. And this is like a really high end place, and and. He goes, okay. How much? How much for these ones? He's like, uh, these ones are about five thousand dollars for for the shoes. And fifty cent. Everybody else is like, oh, okay. And then fifty cent is like, man, fuck that. You can buy a Honda, a Honda Civic for that fucking money. <laughs> he was like, he just like walked the fuck out of the show. Like he did not continue filming. He just like left. <laughs> it's like, damn. Is it funny. one? Was it one of those like? We take so and so to the sneaker store. I don't know if it was a TV show, or if it was just a YouTube guy, but I know the second that the, that the guy who worked there says, "Yeah, these ones are about five thousand dollars." He's like, "Fuck that." <laughs> Did you have one you want to play? 
Let's see how durable this black jelly cup is. His sunglasses went flying, <laughs> dude. <laughs> They're only there for like one frame. <laughs> I have two questions. One, why did this guy throw it behind the camera? <laughs> this was an intro. And two, what is this situation Some where someone's random throwing... concert or something and someone just felt like throwing a cup? I you can see it coming. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 twink. Da, da, da. <laughs> that guy kind of looks like DJ Khaled. They don't want us to go it to is. concerts and get hit in the head with fucking metal cups. So we go to concerts and get hit in the head. Um. This? Mm-hmm. I love skating. Oh my god, bro. Can you get the angle right? It's not even that hard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't hold the angle we're gonna teach our we gotta teach our boys how to hold a, how, how to hold a android so they can see see me shred it because i'm a pro i think most skater. of these videos have been cat videos it's crazy through all of the history of the internet that cat videos have just like stayed the peak of what everybody watches like from early, awesome. you remember early YouTube when it was like when it wasn't the red I and the white cats. loco when it was like that TV cats. that that brown TV for the YouTube logo. Yes, and, and it was you actually were. Yes, yes dude. <laughs> oh, shit. And um, yeah, and cat videos were still the fucking the the peak humor. Your your uh or our aunt uh Joanna showed me doxed. Who lives at 173 West Maple Road. She actually showed me cat memes <laughs> back in like 2004. Uh, that is when I was born. Yes. <laughs> That's how long I've been around. Been around since before your time, buddy. And back in 2004, as you were exiting our mother, Aunt Joanna was showing me... Uh, Cat memes on, uh, like, can I has Chesburger? Yeah. <laughs> the greatest and primest fucking memes came from that site. That's That was the first I was ever introduced to just, like, online humor, or online, uh, 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 just seeing that there were people online posting shit. I was just like, oh my god. And I, I, my only kind of concept, my only idea of the internet at the time was like, people just go on here and post pictures of cats? It's fucking lit. Fucking love the internet. And it's been a downward spiral ever since. Did you have another video? <laughs> okay. What? He needed to throw he threw a lighter. lighter. <laughs> oh, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I was like, I was like, back it, right. up, tear. it went up, tear, back it up, tear. <laughs> oh my god, I remember that video, <laughs> dude. Holy shit! <laughs> bah, 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 bah. That poor seagull. Should show this to dad. So, uh, <laughs> what happened here? Can is this fixable? <laughs> you know what he would say? It was a suicidal <laughs> squirrel. That's what he writes down whenever oh. a uh, whenever a squirrel gets in the power lines and fucks it up and causes like a blackout or some shit, causes a power outage. That's what he puts in the notes, in like the official notes of reason. <laughs> Suicidal <laughs> squirrel. That's what he fucking put. He has another one for like birds, but I don't know what it is. But that's what he puts for, for cause of outage. <laughs> Suicidal squirrel. That's amazing. You want to hear another cool thing about Dad? No. Uh, so today we had this car in here. In the uh, in the shop, this beautiful thing. I love the color on it. What is that like a Mustang? Sixty-seven Blue. Mercury Cougar, and Mercury is owned by Ford, so pretty close to a Mustang. Um, I sent him this picture, and he was like, and I was like, what do you think it is? Early sixties Ford, and it's a sixty-seven, basically Ford. So he's like, pretty much dead nuts right, like correct. 
is like dead and, nuts and, correct. And he can just like <laughs> like just from like one picture of like a lot of cars he can do that shit. That is impressive. And like we've been driving down the road and he'll see a like car coming. Like, oh, what is that? A sixty eight Mustang. I'll get and then it'll like directly pass us and be like actually it was a sixty seven. It's like <laughs> what did you see? <laughs> That you know confidently you can change the year. Because Mustangs, so I think 67s have a certain front bumper. It's like headlights and front and then, bumper. Yeah, and, and then like the, the side the, bit the, the, is like the yeah, I know, yeah, I know there's a bunch of stuff, but it's like the fact that he can differentiate all of that On stuff. The you know. spot. Yeah, exactly. Remember While that. driving. And uh, we had this other, <laughs> we had this other uh, funny experience. Funny for me. So we're driving on, uh, we're, we're driving on this highway. And then he's like, oh, that's a... I was like, oh, that's a pretty cool car. And he's like, that's not a car. That's a Corvette. <laughs> it's a car. Uh, and I said that. I was like, it's a car. Still, you know, it's like, car. Really Corvette. bad thing to you say. Know, like, it's still a car. He's like, no, it's not a car. It's a Corvette. It's different. Or it was some other, like, Mustang or something like that. I would have been like, shut and up, then... you're old. <laughs> <laughs> and, but then we pull into... Um, a. Danny's. No, into the city market that has a Starbucks inside. Ugh. And I go, oh, hey, it's a Starbucks. And he says, it's just coffee. And I said, no, it's not. It's Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> I flipped it on him. <laughs> Damn. Got it. <laughs> Do you know Kevin Gates? Isn't that his name right? Kevin Gates? Yeah, Kevin, Kevin Gates. Gates. <laughs> No, like you piss in my mouth. And... My love for a woman pissing my mouth. No, like you piss in my mouth and then I come and tongue kiss you afterwards. I never had that done. Oh, okay. I love for a woman to piss in my mouth. That's good. You never had that one done either? What? A woman pissing in your mouth. Yeah, I yeah. had a woman pee in a cup while we was driving and I drunk it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right up. Yes. Because it was just nothing. I was so infatuated with this woman to where it was just nothing about her that was nasty. Like, mm. and then she's super clean. She like me. She drink number water all day, so her piss ain't got no taste. Right. Like, and you notice that that's how you survive too. Like, if you're in a desert somewhere and need something to drink, you're just supposed to drink your urine. I haven't been in the desert. I love for women. That is what too much internet does to a motherfucker. <laughs> no, I uh, I get a hundred percent where he's coming from. I mean, in the beginning, it sounds a little wild, but. Towards the end, no, Never. completely safe. I mean, it makes. Sense. I was driving with a woman, and she pissed in a cup, and I drank it. That's fucking awesome. That's loyalty. I, that's feminism. That's, <laughs> that's supporting your woman. That is something you that's are relationship not goals. You would never. <laughs> I haven't brought it up to you yet, but yeah. <laughs> I, I was going to have this conversation. Me, I was meaning to pitch it. I you were in the car th today. What was stopping you? A you. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we was downstairs listening to a Will Smith CD, and then out of nowhere, it was probably like 20 shots, but they were real quiet. So oh, my fucking God. I need to switch it <laughs> so the audience can actually see. Out Scott Park. We was downstairs listening to a Will Smith CD, and then out of nowhere, it was probably like 20 shots, but they were real quiet. So we... All I know is I'm upstairs, I'm listening to my Will Smith CD, and I've seen all these flames going everywhere. Out Scott Park. There's like an actual shoot, local shooting, uh -huh. and that guy pulls a fucking <laughs> Eminem reference in the middle of his news interview. <laughs> so yeah, we're just hanging out while I'm listening to my Will Smith CD. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. Most beautiful thing? What? You ever play hide the dick? You put it between your legs? No. You ever experienced intimacy with a woman without sex? You gonna think I'm weird. I even told a woman it's too soon. Yes, Lord. Well, my ass, I didn't get that tatted yet, but I'm about to. Where on the ass? Let's go! My whole ass. Your whole ass or the asshole? It's like my cheek. Uh, yes, Lord. Oh, okay. I done seen dudes do the crap. Yes, Lord. I'm good. Just let me do my ass cheeks. I'm cool. I hate to bring it up because this happens almost every interview. Somehow it comes up, but Glenny Balls has a tatted ass. And I'm not going to make you look at it, but I just want you to know that. That's right. <laughs> I don't want to see it. And that's smart. 
That's how I know he's smart. Yeah. Who is this guy? We just came into the interview thinking it was going to be serious. <laughs> I love those guys. I love that guy's interviews. They're so funny. It does beg the question: what Would you, you get, get if you had to choose a tat? Yeah, would you get a tattoo on your cheeks or on your asshole? Cheeks, and then sun and moon because yin and yang. You know, could do that. That's that, yeah. That's a good. That's a good premise. And it's already a circular shape. So I mean, I would want it on the crack. Or you just get like a, just a whole yin and devious. yang around, and then like the little circles that are inside the yin and yang are the cheeks themselves. You know, so it'd be like massive. That'd be huge. It goes to like your legs and on your back. Yeah, that's dedication. That is dedication, if I've ever seen it. You don't think that has a serious effect on your mental well-being and your... Um, um, it does. Uh, it's ability. called giving me dopamine. <laughs> Fucking love this guy. But what sacrifices? Not, 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 not. We want something that's <laughs> It's like the first nah. guy that you were showing me, and he's also equally annoying. The Aussie? Yes. I love that guy. Oh, what's going on, TikTok cunts? <laughs> I said grace, I didn't say grace, I said grace, I didn't say grace. I said grace, I didn't say grace, I said grace, I didn't say grace. I said grace, I didn't say grace, I didn't say grace, I didn't say grace. I didn't say grace. I said grace. So did he say grease or did he not say grease? Which did he say? He's asking. He said both of them. Because the whole time he was saying, I didn't say grease. But did he say grease? Yeah, which grease? He said both of them. Did he? Yeah, he just did. How do you know? I heard him say, I didn't say Greece. I, I just heard said him say Greece. Greece. Yeah, exactly. And then he said, no, he said I heard him say I... Greece, not Greece. Because said... he says he said Greece, not Greece. Yeah, exactly. So he just said both of them. No, he only he... How do you know? Because he... <laughs> because it says it right there it's in the kinda, question. It's kind of like the dress. Or when no, you, like, you hear audio, you know, it's like, did he say Greece or did he say Greece? You know? But he's saying he said, he said Greece, but not Greece. No. You know? It's a, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a brain optical illusion or something. You belong in a loony bit. This guy, this guy's a legend. I don't know. This guy makes you ask the real questions. I don't know. No. Oh boy, the tricked out Game Boy Color too. This is, you know, once you get color going, you're good. He needs the light for it though, right? Yeah. Okay. That one's got the built in there. Look at that. And the Game Genie, dude. This guy's got all the bells and whistles. I didn't have this many. I would, I wish. Yeah, he does have the little squiggly light on there. I did have one. And the AC adapter? Damn. The real... This is the only way to actually play a Game Boy Color. This is its tr in its truest form. What the fuck are you even half of those? So this screen is supposed to like make oh, it bigger. The Game Boy. There's the, the light because the screen on it's already dark. Just turn the light on. You get analog and... Uh, uh, controller, controller like kind of better Rips. stability, better grip when you're really in those uh, intense Pokemon battles. That, yeah. And this, I don't know what this actually is. I, oh, uh, maybe it's a speaker, so it plays louder, it has like a better a... volume control, maybe. Uh, yeah, this is the goaded way to play a Game Boy Color. I mean, it's fucking wild how many attachments you could actually fit onto that motherfucker too. Is like. Do they Just want people going. to have this goofy ass looking nineties fucking mesh of fucking technology? It's like when all the wow. Power Rangers group up and yeah, 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 yeah. It's a, uh, it's their mega form. Yeah, it's like super the form. wildest attachments on fucking Call of Duty. Just every last one of them on your gun. <laughs> yeah, you max it out. <laughs> So Xbox sent me a Sunkissed Vibes OPI Xbox controller special edition as a gift. So let's open her up. Sorry, you need scissors for that. 
How the fuck would he use scissors? I don't think he's legally allowed he's, to operate scissors. He's fucking opening it like that. He oh, can there use it scissors. Is. Look at these colors. They are, are you beautiful. doubting his abilities? Sounds yes. Like Love the no, colors. He could use scissors. The face plate colors, everything. It's even got textured grip on the back for me, so when I hold it with my claws, I can really just go to town. Love it. Thank you again, Xbox, for sending me this. Let's put some AA batteries inside. That's a really weird... The, the bumpers are... Throwing me off because they're green. Yeah, the bumpers are throwing you off. Are those his Dude, elbows? Those are kind of throwing me off. Oh, <laughs> <or is> it... <laughs> <laughs> this guy's thumbs going up his arm. I can't tell if it's if that's his elbow or his hand. It's his, definitely his elbow, I think. And then his so if it, it's an like elbow and his hand is like this, but is like prematurely grown, so his hand is just like. I want to know what this is called. This is Ricky Berwick disease. Ricky Berwick disease? Mm -hmm. Look it up. <laughs> Pretty sure it's got a real name. Yeah, Wikipedia, that shit. No, he's the first one to actually have it. Oh, that's another thing. If you, if I you gotta quit social thing. media. You gotta quit drinking soda. You should probably stop eating chips because they really don't give you any nutritional value to your diet. Um, yeah, That's why I eat them. Because they don't give me any nutritional. They only give you taste. They only give you bad stuff. I only want to eat sour cream and cheese. Then eat a bagel. Cause I have thirty thousand dollars in credit card debt. When they call, I tell them I can't pay it back yet. Credit card debt. Tomorrow I may buy myself a. Look at this fucking room, Dylan. I don't know if you've fucking ever played Fallout, but this is insane collection to have you got one thing right that is insane something wrong Insanely in the brain awesome something in the brain is he's got a tapeworm or something dude <laughs> dylan, <laughs> dylan every time you see someone on their phone that person's so seriously mentally ill i can't believe they would look at that right now <laughs> it's, a, it's an addiction dude i there's one more secret i feel i have to share with you i did, I did not, not care for the godfather what did not care for the godfather how can you even say that, Dad? Didn't like, didn't like is this what you, so you're, that, that guy you were hanging cool. out with was watching? This is what everyone always says. This is what this just everybody watches. That's on TikTok. Everybody, everybody watches this kind of stuff. Family Guy clips with sur Subway Surfers playing at the bottom? Yes! So many people see stuff like that and watch it and interact with it and keep seeing that. And then it, like, dude, that, in, it's you know, so okay. It's funny how it bothers you so much. It's just sludge content. Who cares when someone's watching some a little bit? Dude, sludge. I'm pretty sure that's we what the doctor says sludge. about cigarettes in the 60s. Yeah, they're not that bad. They're probably good for you, actually. What is the bad side? What is the the negative effect of watching the Family Guy? <laughs> I mean, okay, that's, that's a little weird question. <laughs> Maybe you watch too much Family Guy. You could be a little weird. Social yeah. media in general. There's How do you know there's nothing wrong with it? How do you know the long-term effects of it? Of what? Social yeah. media. Watching shit like this. Watching two things happen at once. You can't focus on one thing. I'm not. You can't I'm fo focusing on both. You can't focus on on just exactly. You can't focus on just one thing. No, I have ADHD. So, so you, so you, have to watch two things. Yes. And then that's why I have two fucking monitors, brother. <laughs> one's one is YouTube. One's a video game. This country is gonna crash and burn, and I'm gonna be standing on the ashes. Who is it? <laughs> Michael, uh, Michael, not Reeves, but Vsauce Michael, actually put this under a, a scientific lens of people who consume sludge content. And he made the comparison to hamsters with hamster wheels. How okay. they fucking hamsters fucking love hamster wheels, right? They fucking love that shit. <laughs> so here's the question. If you took hamster wheel and you put it out in the middle of nowhere out in nature where mice just be hanging out do you think they'd use the wheel they could i feel like it's they might because they just go and go and go and go i could see it both ways i could see i could see a hamster is like, I don't want to fucking run around over there. 
I'm gonna fucking sit here on the treadmill. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here on this fucking thing and just, just go, dude. I'm just gonna go. Yes. Okay. That's the thing. That's what they do? Hamsters will enjoy the wheel because it's there. Okay. So it's it's just content. It's not it's not it's harmless. There's it's okay to view sludge content, to view I mean you can Okay, uh, people, so wait, so wait, 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 no, no, because you're gonna tie it back to people have fucking addictions with no, 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 yes, people can be addicted to social media, I'm not saying that. But people can also enjoy content, brother. Okay, yes. People can't you, you should have something that you enjoy, that you do. <laughs> yes. That you do in your free time or you do, you know, playing video games, whatever. Okay, but you're just your mind is so busy. You're just racing your mind all the time. It's you think that crazy. hamster never takes a break? Then that's that was not the point of the conversation. That's not okay. Yes, people do but take do breaks. Th exactly. From social media. So so you're just going constantly. Whether it's some people, yeah. But you shouldn't. You well, need time to reflect. Are and like that's why. Like, so I seen this person. I seen this, I seen this person talking about talking about um his name is gary v no <laughs> talking about when <laughs> babies are born and when when you know for toddlers you they do stuff for so long and then you go and put them in a room by themselves or they go and kind of chill by themselves for a while and while they're by themselves they're kind of like thinking about all the shit that they were just going through they're processing it people don't really do that anymore you don't really because you're just you wake up and you're on tiktok and then you get up and you start doing something and then, oh, I got 10 minutes until I got to go to work, so I'm just going to be on TikTok. And then you drive to work with music with music going on, or you're listening to something. And, it's, and, and then you get to work, and you're just constantly going, and it's work, right? So you can't really really focus on something. And then you get off work, and you listen to music the whole way back, or you go and do something to distract. You, de you don't really... There, there's, there is a, a great quote from somebody. Yeah, from this guy. So, I'm like spun and horny and constipated being spun is making me horny being constipated is making me horny is anybody else around here horny and spun and constipated like me and wants to chat real quick because i need to bust my nut to somebody being constipated see dylan Why? this is what you're missing out on Why? the great content i could have missed out on this i'd be fine not missing out on <laughs> we would you know what we would have missed this video we never would have been able to watch a video as beautiful as this had i not, not woken up and gone right to my phone and gone right to tiktok oh my God. <laughs> so dylan i'm sorry your argument that. falls a little flat uh i'm gonna enjoy tiktok all i want you can you can enjoy you can enjoy tiktok i don't know why which one of you punk ass motherfuckers is this the guy who tried to fight you at work <laughs> did he look like this no <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm which one of you punk ass motherfuckers sent my dick pic to my fucking father <laughs> which one of you guys did it <laughs> I would love to know. <laughs> I would love to know. I'm livid right now. <laughs> what is it? I wonder what the song is playing in the background. Oh, I know this guy's fucking. I know. Awesome. I know exactly what that song is. Which one of you motherfucker? Could you imagine parent getting a nude? I've seen. I've seen that on like. Not seen it, but I've seen like people talk about. Holy fuck! I ac I meant to send a nude to my girlfriend or boyfriend. I accidentally sent it to my fucking parents. <laughs> Super Gremlin by Kodak Black. That's the song that's playing in the background. It's a very popular song. Average Kodak Black listener. <laughs> I just love the which one. Is, I, I am I am livid right now. He's missing teeth and shit. <laughs> he's like he's got a bunch of teeth fucking missing. I'm livid right now. Dylan, do you ever relate? Do you ever feel like this? So when I got my locks changed, when I got my locks changed, yeah. the, the maintenance guy that changed okay, my you're, locks you're recording was video. like, uh -huh. was like, and I told him, I said that I had a group of people that are stalking me. I've been stalking me for a long time. They're in my phone. They do all this stuff. You and know, he said, I'm here to do this. Oh yeah, I absolutely did. I want to, I want to out you motherfuckers. At least let y'all know I'm not some weak Who ass bitch. Who are you talking about? You, it's little just this me. asshole's trying to or say have... that I'm crazy, okay. that I don't know, that I know anything. Adult. But I know the spiritual community knows what the fuck I'm talking about, and y'all are shaking in your boots. So this, when I got my locks changed, the guy that changed me, shut up, That's asshole. It. The guy oh. that changed my locks said the <laughs> shut exact the same thing up. happened to them. This is very prominent that people do this to people. The gang stop them. You asshole. Me like this. What are you on? Exactly. See what, what I'm saying? 
See what I'm saying? Are you on the internet? When you person? speak, when you speak the truth. <laughs> Sorry, I that's just, such I, a crazy thing to I say. Don't are you know on any... what you're saying because you cut off the guy. You jump cutted to when you just kept talking. So no, I don't know what you're talking about because you, you, she was referencing something the guy was saying, but she cut him off in in post edit. Have you ever felt like you've been gang stalked before? <laughs> no. What is gang stalking? Where a bunch That's of That's people... what's happening to this poor innocent woman right here. She's being gang stalked by her local internet provider. Ruth, no, I'm not. You wouldn't like. Wait, were you gonna say something? This video is stupid. This video is awesome. I'm not. You promise? I'm not. And this is when you're in the spiritual community and you're a chosen one, which this proves long. that I am. Thank you very much. We are. They gang stalk the shit out of you. Because they want to take you down because you're what, too what powerful. What's gang stalking? Now, I'm video in my own house. Like, what are you trying to do? Okay. Show them that I can stand up to your ass. She looks like a horse. <laughs> you see her face? She looks like a horse. <laughs> I bet I can find a horse that's exactly like that. That's two. I I I uh I went I completely forgot about this, but I went down a whole uh gang stalking uh uh rabbit hole. Of what is gang stalking? People who so there are people in 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 the real world who think that they are being gang stalked by random civilians, random gangs, random groups of people. Oh, and, and what did they'll you do, see that unmarked what white do, van that's been following me around recently, dude? I swear it's been there. It's shit like that. <laughs> and then they'll. There's the thing. They'll go in the public. They'll go into a public setting and make a whole video, be like. I swear I'm being gang stalked right now. And then they'll be like, every time I walk to this section, there's just people. There's just people over here too. Every time I go to the gym at three o'clock in the afternoon, there's people there. <laughs> you might you might be getting gang stalked, dude. You might be getting gang stalked. So are you asking where is this oh my in terms God. of location of where this is? It's in the Houston, Texas area. Where the video was shot was over at his house at his place. Um, he is the only person in this spiritual community group that will talk to me because he actually used to be my former husband. <gasps> what the that is a story in itself. That is a story in itself. If you look back at some of my posts, you will see the famous Muhammad Adam um, and his um, wife, Rocio, that I had posted about, who are both obsessed with me and have broken it. His, he made a key to my apartment. Um, because I didn't realize he got remarried. He kept everything a secret on the low for me because I broke ties with everybody. Um, and I kind of kept to myself. So that was all kept for me. And in the spirit, the spiritual community keeps a lot of stuff from me. And these are a lot of these people I know. <laughs> people from the spiritual community, I guess, told her that her husband was gang stalking her. So that was what the video was previously. I thought it was some internet local provider but it was her husband i totally forgot about this this follow-up video i found too this is this is crazy crazy people as a targeted individual you are governed by the law of karma and gang stalkers know this gang stalkers gang stalkers cannot hurt you in any way but they can provoke you so that you hit them first and then they can use the law of karma to hurt you back one reason you're being targeted is for having such protection. It scares the keepers of this world. Look out for my next live session. This is what real <laughs> schizophrenia looks like. Covered up by social media and people who have normalized this kind of behavior. I love this comment. We are coming. <laughs> <laughs> we are yeah, I've seen, I, like I, I seen a video and it was like... Mm. Um, I seen a video and it was just like somebody talking about their schizophrenia and then somebody was just like, I'm in your walls. And they're like, this is not funny. Please do not joke about this. I'm coming for you. That's I know where you so live. That's so not funny. It is. Why it's, would you say that? It's funny. It's hilarious. Someone said that? Somebody was... Yes. Dude. What the fuck? So anyway, yeah. Oh my if god! If you're a targeted individual... Uh, you have hidden gifts, and they fear you activating it like X-Men movies. <laughs> Cigarettes, drugs, alcohol, and meat eating, and giving up your sexual energy is keeping you from uh, finding... Uh, that gift. In that That is, that gift is... What? I can't with the fucking... Something, yeah. There. TikTok. We'll press play for a couple seconds. 
what that gift from finding out what that gift is from finding out what that gift is the universal laws that govern you will keep you isolated till you finally leave those vo vices alone you're different and have greater responsibility others can do those things and strive you look out for my next live session <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Stop saying you're a victim of gang stalking if you still consider Jesus Christ your <laughs> savior. You are not a targeted individual. You're just paranoid or dealing with something else that I don't know about. But a true targeted individual has very powerful intuitions above regular people. It's why you're being targeted. We know the story of Jesus didn't make sense since we first heard it. We been know. We been knowing this. I'm on this guy's side. I'm honestly, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and say it. I think I'm being gang stalked. These people are crazy. They <laughs> crazy awesome and crazy. I was crazy once. Exposing put me truth. in a room. Rubber room. Rubber room with rats. Rats make me crazy. Crazy. I was crazy once. Put me in a room. Rubber room. Many of these a rubber room with rats. Have. Message yeah. for oh, there are almost much. 8 billion people on earth. Of those 8 billion, very few actually have a soul. The rest are just programs. So never react negatively to those calling you delusional because a person with an actual soul will research before judging you. What the fuck does that mean? It's the bots who are programmed to call you crazy. I'm, I'm it's the bot. I am. That can, are... can I say something real quick? <laughs> I am convinced nobody else is real. Only I am real. <laughs> Everybody That's else it's, is not a real person. It's entirely person. possible. That There's, you are prove me wrong! <laughs> prove me wrong that you're not just like basically the, the human definition of AI generated. I'll do it with this proof right here. Is that what gang stalking looks like? <laughs> what is Orochimaru? It's from Naruto. Those people are real schizophrenics. So you can just skip this video because I'm not going to explain that. Yeah, that's an anime meme. Hey, no. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, try. It's just hot coffee. Hey, Yeah. Damn. Holy shit. This is... Shows like this is what I wish I could put on in the break room at work. I wish I could put on just Japanese game show hosts or game shows because they're always ten times better than anything America could put out. Japanese game shows are just top tier all around. <laughs> My bowl of cereal just started to fly. <laughs> oh. Oops. <laughs> Bro had enough. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Spider-Man if he was from the Bronx instead of Queens. God damn. I love that costume. It goes hard. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. He really did it. I don't think this was edited. I think he genuinely got that. That's crazy. Haters though. will say it's fake. Yeah, no, I mean, like, Bro, that's an from the jump, one. he makes the jump and it's not a helmet. Ocean. I see, calling OSHA. see, most times when I'm in Hope Depot and I see people trying to, you know, do a, bust this kickflip, usually they don't land it too well. This guy actually, like, caught it on camera landing it too. That's what's most impressive. The rug table. That's an Ollie Impossible <laughs> tutorial. <laughs> wow. So high up. Jump off. Jump off. <laughs> Do you have to live? Do you have to live? Oh. Wow.
Is that the Breath of the Wild? Yeah, the dun, music. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. See, those are real thoughts that real human beings have. Yeah, this is this is a thought I have every time I get off of TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, I've seen this video. <laughs> Roll the one. <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. Roll another. <laughs> That's good shit. I've already seen this. Oh. Did somebody even tell me to get a trampoline no, for my dog, which is this guy's pretty dog. ridiculous because dogs can't learn how to keep a trampoline. Holy shit! He do get be jumping. For my dog, which is just pretty ridiculous because. Dogs can't learn how to use a trampoline. <laughs> He's flying. Good. Holy shit. I didn't want any whipped cream. Oh! I see a bunch of those videos. I've seen a couple of them. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh, I wanted vanilla. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I usually will see something like this at like a... It'll be like a Starbucks. Like, oh, I didn't actually want... Okay, and then they take the whole coffee... <laughs> yeah. Chuck it in the back. Do you think this guy in the back was in on it? Yes, I do. Mm, maybe. That's his you, boss. You were never around for Vine. You were never. Yes, I was. What the fuck? You were around, but you weren't on it. Yes, I was. What the fuck? No. Name one Vine. <laughs> struggling. He's struggling. Like Any King Badge Vines? Yo. Everyone knows King Badge. What the dog doing? That's, you, <laughs> those are off limits. Those are too popular. They're, hey, they've he's, ascended just. He stole lines. my purse. Yeah, but that backflip though. <laughs> so you don't. Know the, that. That you, you, flip, you 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 missed out on uh, Smack Cam. I know Smack Cam. What the fuck are you on about? <laughs> Sorry, you've turned into a forty-year-old TikTok hater. I assume that you didn't know okay, who Smack Cam I, was. <laughs> doesn't mean I haven't been on social media my whole life. How do you think I have such base takes about social media? It's because I've ascended to another level of thinking after being in this shallow-minded thinking process from social media. You know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> old. Fast play. Fast play. You little fucking bastard, you thought you could escape the oh, missile guidance shit. system? Well, I'll have you know that the missile knows where it is at any fucking time. You can't escape the missile, you little bitch. Damn. <laughs> yeah, you get hit with one of those, you have to delete the video. <laughs> Why was this guy recording this guy, though? Like, well, I've probably seen him, like, trying to pull it down. Oh, this guy's gonna fuck it up. Yeah, and he turns around and gets a fucking sandal to the front <laughs> teeth. Damn. Deserved. I'm about to lose. I would probably throw a flashbang in a room full of epileptic children. Why the fuck? Face. Most sane man. Honey. What, what is this? Huh? This is Most so sane fucked man. up. Let's continue. What? <laughs> For yeah, what? I, I, Just because? I would probably throw a flashbang in a room full of epileptic children. <laughs> what the fuck? What? What? <laughs> I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell. <laughs> anyway, we're being gang stalked. No. I remember the neighbor was trying to pull it from my ceiling. Okay, well, they moved out, and then another couple moved in about a year ago. When they moved in, I remember tweeting that it felt like they were always above me. Like, no matter where I am in the apartment, they're there, and the floor is creaking. I can hear them. And I've kind of gotten used to it. These are small apartments. I just figured they, you know, it's hard to avoid each other. But last night, for the first time, it was almost like they were playing a game. I would move I from that. one location to another location. Yep. Then I would hear their footsteps, and then a stick be hit, hit the ground, and like exactly right up over top of me. And that was happening repeatedly, and I was like, that's not just a coincidence. I feel like they're actually stalking me. So I looked it up. I, I found that it is an actual thing people do, is gang stalking <laughs> It'll usually happen on the road. I don't have a car. I just walk everywhere. And it doesn't really happen there either. But there's two of them, and one of them goes to work, and one of them stays home all day. Whether I'm in the living room, the bathroom, my bedroom, here, I promise you that they will follow suit, and they will be right there. From what I've seen online, Vice even did a whole episode on game stalking. It's a game of chess. 
It's meant to be so that you have no proof of harassment. You have no proof of anything really happening. It's me- uh, this is this exactly is, how I feel at work. This is such a another <laughs> level of paranoia that is unhealthy. That is scary. These people should be scared. They are of they think me. They're the <laughs> fourth one being stalked. This is actually your name. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one. I'm, I'm the gang game, stalker. my buddy. We have a broom. We fuck with this guy. He thinks he's being gang stalked yeah. all the time. <laughs> uh, we, fucking, we hear somebody leaving the apartment, and we just like grab our keys and just like, oh, you go right ahead, and then just like take notes and shit. <laughs> meant <laughs> to make the victim look crazy, and it's meant to get them to self harm. Because, yeah, try telling people, oh, my neighbor's always above me, and they're doing it on purpose, and yada yada. Nobody would believe that. Nobody. But I'm going to keep talking about it the more that it happens. How does that go to self-harm? A lot of people saying that these are not human beings. These are demonic entities. I believe that, too. <laughs> but just learning that one word, game stock, put everything that's happened with these people into perspective. It's so crazy. Do you remember so, when it... Okay, so what about the people who were in that apartment before them? I want you to look at his face right now. Do you think he's being for real? <laughs> Don't know. I think he's fucking around. I think this was a this was a parody gang stalk video I found. <laughs> how do they know where you are exactly? That, Telekinesis. Exa- how the fuck would the neighbors Echo know? Go location. <laughs> look at him, bro. They could probably hear him. <laughs> From <laughs> Okay. <laughs> But they're above him. That's a look at him. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, how long have we been going for? <laughs> Too long. I need to leave. Oh uh, yeah, it's been an hour. <laughs> All right, we'll end, we'll end on that note. Dylan, Richard, whatever the fuck your name is. Thanks for joining us on another show. Another episode. I don't know what the fuck it is. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, Dylan, I hope you don't get gang stalked on your way home. I'm the gang stalker. Uh, feel free to gang stalk people at, at your local residence, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. That's it. See ya.